Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to compare timer set resolution with filter key setter since so many people always ask me, okay, which one is actually better for the least amount of input delay in Fortnite? And therefore, I'm just gonna explain to you everything in today's video and if you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, just for you as a definition, if you're actually asking yourself, okay, what does timer set resolution and filter keys even do? Everyone is talking about it. Why does it actually give me less latency in Fortnite? And that's super easy to understand actually guys, because timer set resolution and filter keys can change your repeat rate of your keyboard, which is already actually a built-in feature on Windows. But the problem is the maximum repeat rate of your keyboard, which you can normally access in your Windows tool, you know, you just type in like keyboard and you should find it on your Windows PC is still way too slow for the average competitive Fortnite player. That's why so many Fortnite pros change to a tool like timer set resolution or filter keys to put your repeat delay even at a lower point so you can spam these keys even more. You know on Fortnite there are so many binds you need to actually utilize at the same time and so many buttons so therefore you get your movement keys, you get your weapon slots, you get maybe even like your editing, you get probably also your build binds on your keyboard or at least a few ones guys so therefore that's so many actions that's where you need to be able to spam these keys as much as possible in the build fight. And with the normal stock repeat rate of your Windows PC, this is all limited to a certain amount of actions you can actually put out during a second, guys. So therefore, utilizing any of these programs makes it possible for you to spam these actions more frequently and therefore you just overall faster, you know. You can edit way faster, guys. You can also switch to your weapons faster, pretty much everything. And from my personal experience, I can definitely say that filter keys allows you to have an even lower repeat rate in timer set resolution because on timer set resolution, it only goes to to 0.5 milliseconds below the average repeat rate so therefore this is still already pretty damn fast but filter keys is just way more customizable overall the scaling is a little bit weird but i already made a full-on video about the best filter key settings guys so therefore yeah just check it out yourself and therefore as final conclusion i would definitely recommend every fortnite competitive player in season 8 to utilize filter keys instead of timer set resolution because it allows you to have the lowest repeat rate on your keyboard guys and it allows you to spam those keys even more frequently which can be such a huge advantage in fortnite and therefore yeah this is pretty much it and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace